So that was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was awesome. Like, I think I just kept clearing them and, and, you know, everyone else was kind of struggling and I was just trying to bring myself back to, to what I was focused on, which is obviously my performance. But, um, yeah, to get that 36 at the end was super special. I, I kind of, I, yeah, that was probably the first time I genuinely surprised myself that whole comp, so it was cool. You took a few seconds there to just lay on the crash mat and just, yeah. what were you thinking? Um, I wasn't thinking about anything really. I was just kind of in, in shock and disbelief that, that that had happened. I think, yeah, it's a funny one as an athlete. Like, you know, we spend our whole time planning for these things and, and um, you know, working towards these goals that we've got. And, you know, one of those goals is to jump high or higher than, than that. Um, but, yeah, to actually do it is, is another thing. So it's... Yeah, it's just awesome to know that all my hard work's paying off. Absolutely. You obviously have a nice relationship with Wu, and you were like congratulating each other afterwards, and you were also like, uh, you know, competitive, obviously competitive with yeah. each other. Or... Yeah, I think I think for me, my biggest thing is that I want to win when everyone else is winning, and when everyone else is doing personal bests. So, you know, if, if those guys are struggling, then then that makes my job kind of hard because you know it, it adds to the event, and and so. Yeah, I was I was gutted for Wu today. Obviously, some things weren't quite clicking, but you know he's such a talented guy. He'll definitely be coming back stronger. And uh, obviously, we've got the Olympics coming up, which is very exciting. Oh, do we? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just mentioning it just in case no one knew about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about it? Because you're clearly in great form. Yeah, I'm just taking it day by day at the moment. I think um, we're still really early in the season. Um, there's yeah, there's a lot of a lot of work to be done between now and then. I definitely don't think I'm quite there in terms of my physical ability um, and. I know that a height like that uh, at the Olympics is, is going to be good, but it probably won't be good enough. So, um, yeah, it's just going back home and, and just continuing the, the great progress we've made over the, well, our summer, but the, the northern winter, and, and we'll just continue on. Um, you mentioned your physical ability. Uh, you, you've been, you know, like been very patient in your career, I guess. What has allowed you to you know, make such a gradual you know, progression and, and also be uh, persistent? Um, I love the sport. Like, I think I'm a, you know, I'm a massive fan of, of not just high jump but athletics in general um you know i i have great friends who are distance runners and, and throwers and and not just from new zealand and it's it's just such a cool thing to be a part of so for me you know i'm obviously happiest when i'm performing well but at the same time there's there's so much sort of inspirational stuff around me that i just love traveling and competing and i think that's what gets me up in the morning is just knowing that i could get a little bit better and and hopefully kind of execute that on the day most of the New Zealand uh, heroes are middle and long distance runners. I guess you're adding in the uh, adding in the field events and the high jump. Yeah, that. yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's great for for the kids back home to have so many different uh, role models now to be able to, you know, look at. We've got sprinters now, and we've got uh, pole vaulters and, and high jumpers, and, and obviously distance and throwing in there as well. So yeah, it's it's super inspirational, and it's a great team to be a part of. You're built like a power four. So I have to ask you if you ever did basketball as a youth. <laughs> nah. No, nah, I didn't. I don't, my, my coordination is good for high jump, but I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Have you been getting motivation? I mean, New Zealand has been doing pretty well over the past couple of days, right? My uh, my year in the um, in the distance earlier, and like of course yeah. you, and like um, everyone's really been kind of doing some good things. Is that giving you motivation? Oh, hugely. I mean, you know, I I love watching my compatriots do well, and it's it's something that's is massively motivating to me. I think that. To be a part of a team where where we're doing well is, is much better than a team that's not doing so well. So um, yeah, it's it's been great to be a part of. And my probably the saddest thing for me is that uh, since I'm on the third day, I actually haven't been down to the track yet. So I'm hoping that we can pick up a few medals in the 15th tonight as well and be able to watch sort of watch that in person. You mentioned a minute ago about you travel. So you're going back home, but then you also mentioned about you love travelling, which is just as well. Yeah. How often do you actually go home? You know, how much of the year are you at home, and how much are you travelling? It's about fifty-fifty. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it's the best part, but also the worst part of the job for me. Um, I I obviously leave my family and my girlfriend and you know all my loved ones back home when I'm when I'm over here. But I've got a huge amount of support from them, and and yeah, for me, I guess. It's great as well because I've just been in New Zealand for about five months um, over summer, so that's been super nice. And then to be able to kind of come over here, do a little bit of a, a block of competition, and then um, then I'll come back here pretty much for the entire northern summer is just is yeah, it's it's pretty pretty hard life. <laughs>